Oh. All right, this is a, um, I was having a problem with the steering on this. Um, it was wobbling all over. I wish I took a video of it before, but I'm going to explain to you. And they tell you, don't hold on to this and pull yourself in. So you grab one of these, come up like this. Okay, this steering wheel was wobbling all over the whole, literally like the steering, something was going to break. You see how tight it is right now? I fixed it. And I should have taken a video of me fixing it, but I want to show, because I, I couldn't find it anywhere on the internet. And I went to Kubota, and they told me it was a bearing way down in here, and to beat on the the, uh, the rod going down in there, and that'll push the bearing back down. And, I mean, I was hitting it to the point where I took this cover off and, the, you know, the steering nuts on there. First I said check the steering wheel. I tightened the nut on it. And, uh, see, yeah, if you... This is the cover. I'll just take that off so you can see that and see the nut right there. Anyway, that's tight as tight as it can be. So I took the nut off, and they said, no, nah, just pull the steering wheel off. It'll come off no problem. No way. That thing was tight on there. And then I said to them, just and it's not like I haven't done it before, but I always ask the guys to do it all the time. I'm like, so um, I, you said the wheel just pop off. It's not popping off. Should I use a wheel puller? They were like, no, don't use a wheel puller. You'll break all the plastic. They said, have somebody that you don't like pull on the steering wheel, take the nut off, and hit it with a hammer. When that comes off, it's going to hit him right in the face. Anyway, that's not the case either. I hit it with a hammer. I had my wife pulling on it with a nut on it so it wouldn't come off in her face. And uh, anyway... Um, so I went back to them and I said, and I looked online all over the place. Nothing on there showed this is the problem. This is a piece of rubber. You can see how oblong it is. Okay, so that was from me pulling myself up here. And it did it's the same thing to the other side. And it made the, it loosened the whole um, rubber. So this holds the inside of the column. It gives it that spacer between the shaft and the inside of the column. And so anyway, I, I looked it up myself, and um, none of, nobody showed me that this was it. Everyone was like, oh, your steering box is blown. Oh, yeah, this is wrecked. That's wrecked. And I was like, it's a brand-new tractor. It can't be already. So anyway, I started looking at it, and I noticed there was this rubber bushing here. And I said to the guy at the tractor place, hey, just look at it. Find the um, the diagram of the steering column. I saw this part. I said, "Order me that thing. How much is it?" He said it was like a dollar seventy eight. And I'm like, I should have said, "Get me twelve of them, so I can keep pulling myself up on this thing." Anyway, what I did was, I I used a puller on it. The guy said, "Don't put a puller on it because you'll break all the plastic." I couldn't get it off with nothing, so I put my three prong puller on it, and it popped right off without breaking anything. Once I got it off, the old, this old one came right out. And when I did decide to buy this, I said to the mechanic at the Kubota place, and they're all great people there. Um, I told him what I was doing. He goes, oh, yeah, it could be that. Change that. And he said, you're going to have a hell of a time getting that thing back in there. Grease it up good. And then hit it in with a hammer. I didn't have much problem getting it in. I did grease it up real good. And problem solved. Okay, and 